Hello, Aperio. I'm Janice Smith from the Caruda Project, and I'm here with Jacques Renault, who's the head of the Caruda Project, and we're going to give you the state of the Caruda Project 2021. I'm going to share our presentation. And here we are. So in this presentation, we'll give you a brief introduction to Karuda. We'll talk about our community and the communication between our various members. We'll give you some news and uh, most importantly, a snapshot of many different projects and a roadmap map into the future. And then we'll let you know how to contact us. Karuda was created in the spirit of OSP in Sakai. Founding partners were HEC Montreal, Kyoto University, IUT2, Grenoble, France, Three Canoes, and ePortfolio. We've had a brief history with many road, many stops along the way from Karuda Beta through Karuda 1.0, 2.0, and now we're moving into 3.0 in the summer of 2021. We have an international governing board. We have amazing work going on with the French Ministry of Education funding in France and Belgium, and uh, a number of other projects in the hopper. Karuda facilitates the learning process. You can make just about any kind of portfolio with Karuda. You can also do almost any kind of learning process with Karuda because Karuda helps you link different uh, resources with different actors to carry out a learning sequence. So you can make learning portfolios focusing on the individual's development assessment portfolios, which will help you gather programmatic or institutional data and showcase portfolios to show off the work of an individual to mentors, possible employment, etc. And this is not the same across institutions. In fact, in my 20 plus years of working with portfolios, I have never met a single institution that wants to do it the same as the last institution I work with. So Karuda is a very flexible solution to answer your needs. And now Jacques is going to tell us more about, about Karuda. Yes, uh, as Janet uh, said a little bit, Karuta is really designed to organize different resources, what, text, document, rubrics, comments, whatever, according to a workflow for different users, student, evaluators, instructor. So the workflow is really, really key there. Is Karuta is there to support what you are go, you're planning to do. Uh, next slide. Uh, just a quick uh, view of all the, the action. Um, uh, users can upload images, uh, view progress uh, on a dashboard. They can apply rubrics, very sophisticated rubrics. Uh, they can do peer evaluation, alert an evaluator, generate a PDF, fill in a form, comment, export, and much more. Uh, these are the main uh, Karuta's features, uh, which are a little bit more technical. So it's LTI ready, can work with Sakai. It's responsive design, multilingual, very important. Uh, has lots of community templates of uh, portfolios already developed elsewhere. And it's based on J jQuery JavaScript front end, Twitter bootstrap, MySQL and REST API. This is an example of the new visual 3.0 possibilities. So with this very important uh, new version of Karuta, uh, it's very easy to sort of uh, design a very interesting UI. For example, here, this is the pandemic portfolio and you can have pictures, you can have text, you can mix uh, images uh, and text. It's almost like a content manager. So it makes the whole portfolio process much more appealing to the users. Next. This is another page of the 
pandemic portfolio where on the top part, uh, students can choose evidence so they can go and get uh, their an action plan that they've done. They can relate to a project. And then uh, one day sort of they, they added lots of evidence. They can self-evaluate uh, many times actually. And we can keep track of that in Kahoot. So the whole experience for the users is, is much simpler now with the 3.0 features. And on the next slide, there will be, you can go and get, you can create an account and you can test by yourself the pandemic portfolio. And uh, just a quick warning is that the password may be sent to your uh, trash uh, mail. So you want to check that if when you create your account. So let's tell you a little bit about the community of Karuta and the communication between the different parts of our community. We mentioned we have an international governing board with uh, members from various countries, a steering committee. We coordinate with the French community for Karuta, which is organized through funding by the French Ministry of Education and is co uh, collaborating with ESOP and ESOP in, the, in Europe. And then we have one commercial affiliate, ePortfolium, which is based out of Montreal, Canada. Our international board includes members from Belgium, from France, from the United States, from Canada, and all the members of the Karuta Steering Committee, also from Japan. So, uh, Yes. Oh, Jacques, this is you. Yes. Oh, yes. I will jump for the French community because I speak French. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, there's actually right now in France um, a very large community that is sort of taking roots. Uh, we had in November a very successful online conference with over 140 participants to launch uh, Caruta. A French working group. And this uh, working group has met many times. We have like over 25 active participants. And we're working with many uh, French universities to implement a competency based approach at the French national level. Uh, and in, in this context, we uh, partnership uh, with uh, we have a partnership with uh, is a portail which is like uh, very uh, closely related to the Aperio foundation it's it's kind of the uh, French part of the Aperio uh, the, the Aperio foundation um, ePortfolium is a is a, for which I, I work actually is a small co-op based in Montreal, Quebec. So it uses uh, client contracts to develop new templates and functionality to be shared with the Caruta community. So Caruta is, the, the, the Caruta project done by the different universities are the driver in terms of templates. And everyone sort of uh, share their project and everyone benefit from the, the, the development made elsewhere. ePortfolio does some hosting. We do host uh, uh, currently a, a US university. And we are part of the French of Ministry of Education project. We were part of the French Ministry of Education project and we sort of work, work closely with uh, ISIP in France as well. So this is the website of the, the co-op where you can Go and get, for example, you can download the code for free and you can have access to different information regarding uh, ePortfolio and the services that can be given to any university. This is the um, uh, website of the community, uh, carutaproject.org, which contain lots of information and uh, the notes from the, uh, the boards and resources and very different information that is very useful in, for the Caruta project. And this is the French 
uh, counterpart, the, the French website for the French community. So it has its own website because it's uh, very specific for French and it has lots of interesting uh, stories and examples about the Caruta use in France. The, the project uh, right now, we currently working to finish the 3.0 front end. It's on beta testing right now, and it should be available the final version in 2021, but you can download the, uh, the beta version right now. Uh, we're working also on a completely new backend, uh, which will be available in 2021. We have, uh, by the way, the backend, uh, the Karuta 3.0 front end works with the Karuta backend 2.4, the version, the previous version. Uh, I just want to add that we have uh, contributors from Quebec, of course, but also more and more from France. Uh, yes, this is one of our recent template that we did for uh, a university in Belgium uh, supporting internships for health science student. And uh, you can see that uh, this is a very interesting project because uh, it, it has been tailored to exactly their needs. So it's a, it's a very special portfolio. Not sure that we could have been done using other tools, but we were able to do it quite easily in Kahoot actually. And this is a template that uh, it's going to be very important for the French community. It's a completely new portfolio uh, based on competence, uh, related to competency-based competency uh, education or approach. So it's, it's very hard to see the, the detail, but what's interesting is that the UI of this uh, page done in Caruta 3.0, make it quite easy for users to sort of zoom in on, uh, on what they should do and what, what the task, uh, what are the these tasks for them. And especially in the right-hand side, you see that there's a kind of uh, uh, a space for questions and answers that will guide students in this, in this project. So just to highlight the very interesting UI as for users that make them their job lots uh, a lot simpler. Uh, important news for the users, also for the, the, the designer of a portfolio. We have a, a very comprehensive uh, documentation available online, and uh, this is uh, you can find that in the ePortfolio. The link can be found in ePortfolio on the Karuta Project website. Uh, interestingly, uh, we've been giving, it's in French, but uh, we, uh, we are currently giving uh, seven different modules on how to sort of uh, uh, construct portfolio using Caruta 3.0. And we had over a hundred participants on these uh, online uh, courses. And uh, it's been very successful and we have recorded and all the, the sessions will be available on YouTube, but of course they're in French. So we've been very active in various conferences at Open Aperio last year, we had a poster session talking about accreditation portfolios at our US institution using Karuda. We uh, talked about, we, we came to the showcase to show off our soft, our current version of Karuta, Karuta 3.0. We talked about how the Sakai de design lenses are coming to fruition in Karuta 3.0. And there's a, a direct connection between work that the Sakai community did on teaching and learning and what has, is now possible in Karuta. Uh, we also uh, did a lightning talk that was well received. And uh, we've been going to the Sakai virtual conferences to talk about Karuta. We continually present at ESUP days in Paris every fall. 
And recently we went virtually to Australia to talk about our pandemic e-portfolio template using Karuta 3.0. And again, we're, we just uh, are, I believe this is coming up the ESUP days in, oh, it just happened in Paris in 2021. So how about our roadmap? Well, we're working on rolling out the Karuta 3.0 version from alpha to beta to ending. And we've, we're making great progress on the front end and soon to complete work on the back end. Uh, we have, uh, there's the, we're developing a new template for the French universities backed with uh, government funding in France. We have a project going in Japan having to do with uh, rubrics, portfolios, and the, the uh, teaching of how to, how to help researchers share their data uh, as part of, the publish, of publishing it. And finally, we are exploring working with Karuta in a K-6 environment in Ohio uh, with a new school called, a new charter school called the Explorer Academy that has connections in Haiti and, and uh, Central America as well. So we'll be creating portfolios for students, for teachers, for principals, and for board members, all to coordinate their effort in using more of a competency-based approach than many schools use. So if any of this uh, perks your interest, we'd be happy to communicate with you. You can find us in many different ways. Uh, we have, uh, Jacques showed you our website um, in English, and we can get, and you can go from there to the one in French. Um, and um, you can try Karuta by going to the ePortfolio website and downloading the code or, or giving yourself access to the pandemic portfolio demo. And uh, feel free to contact us through our karuta at aperio.org email or by com communicating directly with either Jacques or myself. If you have questions, please get in touch. We'd be happy to show you more and we'd be very happy to welcome you to the Karuta community. Jacques, do you wanna say anything to close? No, just uh, we're very excited for all the new project that we have in 2021. And we are certainly very happy to answer any question or request that you will have. <laughs>